Let's take a look at how to set up your MTN MF935 My5 for the first time. In this video, we'll go through how to change the Wi-Fi name and password, how to reset My5 in case of any issues like forgotten your password, how to use the WPS button, how to save battery, and see more features of this My5. Let's jump in. First, let's insert the SIM card. You will need the smallest size, the Nano SIM. Make sure it's facing the right way. There's a SIM card symbol to guide you here. Once it's done, let's insert the battery. On the side of the MiFi, we have two buttons, the power button and the WPS button. Keep watching and I'll show you how to use the WPS button. To power it on, press and hold the power button for about three seconds. As you can see, the MiFi is on. It will take a few seconds to initialize. Now, if you want to reset your MiFi, follow this step. If you're setting up for the first time, skip this part and continue with the setup. To reset the MiFi in case you've forgotten the password or it's not working properly, you'll need something sharp. On the back, you'll see a small hole labeled reset. Press and hold it for about three seconds while the MiFi is on. The lights on the front will go off and come back on, indicating the reset is successful. and your MiFi will be good as new. Now, let's continue setting up the MiFi. For those setting up for the first time, you can follow along from here. Close the back of the MiFi. There are arrows to guide you, so make sure they align before snapping it closed. Ensure the MiFi has some charge. To check if it's charging, connect the USB cable and you'll see the battery LED blink white. Once it's fully charged, the LED will turn solid white. If the battery is low, it will show red. The battery typically takes around 3 hours to charge fully. Let's now connect to the MiFi. There are two ways to do this, either through a USB cable on your laptop where the internet will automatically work when you connect the cable or by using Wi-Fi. In this video, we'll use Wi-Fi. The default Wi-Fi password is printed at the back of the MiFi, labeled as Wi-Fi key. You can do this setup on a phone or computer, either will work. Find the Wi-Fi network and connect to it with the Wi-Fi key. Once connected, open a browser. I'm using Chrome. In the address bar, type 192.168.1.1 without leaving any spaces and then press enter. You'll be prompted for a password, which is also on the back of the MiFi. It's usually admin. Once you're logged in, you may see a privacy policy notification. Just tap accept. Here, you'll see details like connected devices, some with their names and MAC addresses, the network type up here, 3G or 4G, then next you'll see signal strength, next you'll see number of users connected, and then you'll see battery level. On the left side, you can view data usage and how long the MiFi has been active from the last time you powered it on. Then here we'll also have a button to toggle the data connection on or off. Now let's change the Wi-Fi name and password. To do that, click on settings in the menu, then select Wi-Fi settings on the left. Under network name, enter the name you want for your MiFi. And under passphrase, input a password of your choice. This MiFi supports up to eight devices, but you can limit the number that you want to connect to whatever number you want, you could do 2, 3, 5, up to 8. But for this case, let me leave it to 8, then tap apply. Are you finding this video helpful so far? Be sure to hit the like button. Next, connect to the new Wi-Fi network with the updated password you created. Before we look at some good battery saving tips on this MiFi, let's see how to use the WPS button. The WPS button lets you connect devices without using a password. And this works mainly for Windows laptops. To activate it, press the WPS button for about 3 seconds. You'll see the Wi-Fi LED start blinking. Open your Wi-Fi networks on your laptop, click connect, and it will automatically connect without asking for a password, just like you see here. So you may want to deactivate this WPS feature so others can't connect without your permission. To do so, go back to your browser, type 192.168.1.1. Log in, then go to Settings, tap Wi-Fi Settings, then WPS, then select PIN, and input a PIN of your choice. Now, 
anyone trying to use WPS will need to enter this pin. Now, let's go over some battery saving tips for this MiFi. By default, the LED lights at the front are off to save battery. To check their status, just tap the power button once and the lights will briefly turn on. To save even more battery, log into the router settings, go to settings, then device settings, then power save. You can limit the Wi-Fi range here to save battery. If the MiFi is usually close to you, set it to short Wi-Fi range and then click apply. When you do so, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi range, the Wi-Fi distribution will be short. So devices close to the MiFi will receive the Wi-Fi, but you'll also save battery. Although this MiFi supports 4G, some users may want to switch it to 3G to save data. To do that, we'll have to first disconnect data connection. So tap home, then tap disconnect. Go to settings, then network settings, then network selection and switch this from automatic to 3G. Then click apply. Then don't forget to go back to home and click connect on data connection for the internet to work. To check your data connection type, tap the power button once. If the network LED is green, you're connected to 3G. If it's white, you're connected to 4G. Before we wrap up with how to secure your MiFi settings, let's see how to block and unblock users. Once logged into your MiFi admin settings, you can view connected users. To block a device, simply tap block besides the device here. To unblock, go to settings on the menu up here, then Wi-Fi settings, then blacklist. There you will see any blocked devices. Just tap unblocked on the device you want to unblock. Now let's secure your MiFi by changing the admin password. The password we use to log into these admin settings. You need to change it because if you don't, anyone will be able to log in and change your password, change your settings on this MiFi. So let's log in with the admin as usual, then go to settings, then device settings. Under current password, enter admin. Then input your new password under new password. Then click apply to save. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out this video next. I think you'll enjoy it. See you there.